morning everyone welcome back to my channel I thought I'd do a day in the life today I do a little bit of vlogging it is um, in the morning and I just made myself a bagel for breakfast and I have a list of things to do today and I have a lot of work to do I have to do some errands running around um, I have to make sure I, I'm there for the school run today. Um, it is a storm coming this, there is a storm coming this weekend. And um, I just wanna make sure we have some stuff in the house that does not need to be cooked. We do have a barbecue, so we're pretty good that way. But um, just some other stuff that we just need to, you know, some basics and things um, that we have in the house um, that we're stocked in like water, and um, some bread, uh, I'll probably get some storm chips, <laughs> that type of thing, um, just so we're like ready to go in case the power goes out. It's supposed to be a very strong storm, although the eye is, of the storm is not coming through us. It looks like it's coming between the edge of Cape Breton and up through the strait between Cape Breton and Newfoundland. That's kind of where it's looking right now, but I'd like to be prepared in case it turns. And uh, anyway, so I just made myself, I said, a bagel for breakfast. I have my to-do list to do. I have a few things on the go, and I thought I would just take you along with me for the day. So come join me. Yes, I'm still in my pajamas. <laughs> um, I just finished breakfast. I'm in my office right now, and yes, there's still tons of boxes not unpacked yet. Um, I need to get my... Um, bookcase that's supposed to be in here that's down at my um, in-laws. They made me this really nice long bookcase. It's not overly high, but it's longer. Um, and uh, yeah, my father-in-law made it and gave it to me for my birthday. It's, it's beautiful, but we have to go get it. It's very heavy. And um, so I haven't unpacked everything yet. Things are kind of everywhere. Some of the stuff won't get unpacked just because we'll have to pack it again in 10 months time but everything that I need to use for my office will get eventually unpacked. But I'm in my office right now and I'm just going through all my emails um, for personal work, um, social media, all of those things, getting that sorted. Um, and I'm about to make my to-do list for the day, go through my planner. Um, I'm recording a plan with me and so I'm about to record that. Uh, to put up on my channel the one <laughs> the one that I recorded to, that was supposed to go up this week has not gone up this week yet so I might just put it up next week and um, so then I'll be a little bit more ahead <laughs> not so behind the eight ball that I have to turn it so quickly um, so I do have to edit that today I have um, another video that I'm about to upload I've already edited it. It's a sticker haul. Um, I actually filmed it back in August, but I just never had a chance between moving and everything to get it um, edited and posted. So I'm going to post that now and um, yeah, make my to-do list and start tackling my stuff. I am going to get dressed. <laughs> I'm about to do that uh, as soon as I finish uh, this check-in and um, and then I'm going to head out and get some of those errands done and get them off my list for today. Okay, so I just got home and I got some things to see us through in case the power does go out. Um, and Layla says hello to everybody. Uh, so I'll just quickly, I just went to Sobeys and I'll just quickly show you what I got. So actually this thing right here, this is just like I was one of those mini photo, cheap photo albums. Um, but they had them on clearance for a dollar and I bought it because I have really small sticker sheets and I thought that would be fine just to keep them all together and be able to flip through and see them. So I picked that up just because it was on sale clearance for a dollar. But everything else was from Sobeys. So I bought a case of water, two things of bread. Uh, this wasn't because of the storm, we're just out of bathroom um, toilet bowl cleaner. Uh, two things of Mexican cola. I picked up some macaroni that is for supper tonight. I'm going to make a pasta salad. Uh, not a pasta salad, macaroni and cheese. <laughs> I picked up some more salsa. Um, I figured we could do salsa and chips for a snacky meal if the power goes out. Um, I'm okay with eating sandwiches. Um, not that everybody likes sandwiches in our family. Or eats a lot of bread so um, that's another option uh, we have cascade dishwasher tabs 
some party mix treats for Layla. Uh, some carrots so we can, we have hummus at the house. So I just bought some more carrots. I'm gonna chop these up probably and uh, slice them into carrot sticks and then they're gonna have carrots and hummus and do that. Uh, some just mini cat cats. Uh, this is definitely a, a storm <laughs> buy. Um, these apple cakes from Dutch Traditions. I think they actually come from the Netherlands. I'm not sure, but I think they actually do. Definitely a splurge buy. <laughs> um, I picked up just some dress, um, uh, what do you call these things? Shoelaces. Goodness gracious, go ahead. <laughs> Sometimes the English language eludes me. Um, yes, <clears throat> I have the laces I have in my sneakers that I wear a lot, especially when I'm filming in that. Um, they're round and they continually get undone. Like I think last Saturday I was out shooting for work and I must have tied them 10 times in like a six hour period. And uh, they just keep undone and to the point that I, they came undone as I was walking onto the escalator. And, um, and then when I went to get off, the end of it got caught in the escalator and I tripped and I fell and smacked and huge noise and everything else. People came running. It was embarrassing, <laughs> but uh, it was because the shoelaces came undone. They just wouldn't stop. So these are the flat ones, all that to say. I got some ones that hopefully won't come undone. Um, I picked up just two cans of cat food for Layla Trout Feast to see if she'll like those. She's starting to go fussy again. Well, starting to, continually is. Um, I picked up some sandwich meat, a black forest, smoked turkey for sandwiches. Um, I picked up uh, some of these bacon rounds. I may cook some of this on Saturday morning and um, and yeah, we'll do maybe some uh, BLT type sandwiches in the morning and I'll go from there. Um, some compliment round tortilla chips. I wanted to get the covered bridge. I mean, it's the exact same flavors, but this one is the brand that they put through on um, over the summer. And then over the winter, they have what they call storm chips because that became a thing in, in <laughs> East Coast Canada, storm chips, you gotta have your storm chips. Um, so anyway, I wanted to have the white bag that said storm chips, but they didn't have it. Um, but they had the weekender and they were clearing them out. So it was, it's exactly the same flavors. It's, I mean, Covered Bridge knew what they were doing because they took a, like a, is it a called a colloquialism? I can't remember if that's the right word where, you know, something like a word or something you say to from around your area and so storm chips seems to be the thing when we have a storm whether it's a blizzard or hurricane or what it's like get your storm chips get your storm <laughs> chips and uh so they came up with this i mean they didn't come up with their thing but they decided to come up with storm chips and brand it that way and then in the and then then to do it in the summer they called it the weekender but in the, in the winter, they call it storm chips. And it's kind of like just like little, it's a flavor of all of theirs. So it's like, there's what? Sweet and spicy jalapeno, smoke and sweet barbecue, salt, uh, sea salt and cracked pepper, and sea salt and vinegar. Actually, the flavors might be slightly different um, in, the, uh, in the storm chip one. But anyway, <laughs> there's our storm chips. All that to say, we got storm chips. And then I bought some lighters because we, uh, ours are dead. So I bought some lighters. So if we have to light candles, I can do that. So that's what I picked up. I think I said water there too. So that is my little storm haul of some groceries. And I'm gonna put this away. Layla's asking to go outside. So I'm gonna let her out into the back deck and uh, I have to clean the kitchen. Hey little girl. She likes being outside. She likes eating her salad. So that's what she's doing, chewing on some grass, eating salad. She'll wander around here in the backyard a little bit and then she'll come back inside. So I made it to the school and uh, it's at least another five to 10 minutes before the they're let out. So I have some time to kill. So I was planning <laughs> and I brought um, a book with me and I'm gonna do some reading. Um, I've been trying to read every day and it hasn't been working, but 
I will get it in today because I brought my books. So I bought the Nicholas Sparks, um, The Wish. I'm not sure if, it's, if this is his latest one or not. Um, the Wish, I only am just starting it, so I don't really have anything to, to mention about it one way or the other. But, um, yeah, I usually used to really, I used to read a lot of his books, and um, I really like them. I don't like all of the classics. I'm not a big fan of The Notebook. Don't like that one. Um, I did like A Walk to Remember. I liked um, The Lucky One. I think that was him. And um, I liked the... Um, Oh, what was that other one? There was another one that I have. Oh, one right. I walked to remember the lucky one. I can't remember who it was. I think it was Do Josh Dumel was in it in the movie version, but I liked I liked that one. Um, so I've read a few of them, but I'm going to read this one now and kill some time until uh, the school bell rings. So we're back home. We stopped and got some Tim's. I have a pumpkin spice latte and we got some small cookies and I'll show you that when I think when we have them later, we're saving them for after supper. Um, and I look a mess. <laughs> Uh, I'm going about to start supper now. We're having mac and cheese, so I'm just going to start um, making the roux on the stove and then I actually bake the, the mac and cheese. So I'm just mixing the pasta and the sauce together. I used like a Tex-Mex blend in my cheese sauce. And so now I'm just going to uh, finish just stirring it all in, making sure it's all mixed in good. And then I'm going to put it in the pan and stick it in the oven for about a half hour or so, give or take. I forgot to mention that I actually topped this as well um, with these pastine breadcrumbs. So I just top it on the top and then I stick it in the oven. Just like that. I'm not sure if I got a dud or if it's just this candle in particular or just in general. Um, this smells really good, the mountain trail, and that's why I chose it. But you literally can't smell it. You basically, the only way you can smell it is if you stick your nose inside the candle to smell it. Um, it's not giving off the scent, but I mean, it's not a Bath and Body Works candle and maybe that makes all the difference. Too bad though, it was a really nice, pretty scent. So we're just out draining the pool right now. The pool is done for the year. It's too cold to be in it anyway, so we just let it go. So it's going green because the leaves are starting to fall in it. So it's gonna get closed up soon, but we're just draining some of the water out ahead of the uh, hurricane.